Hi guys, we meet again in Dizzy Kitchen. Today we are going to make Pau Bhaji. Pau means bread and Bhaji means vegetables. Now, ingredients for stream, steaming are 4 potatoes, 3 carrots, 2 green chilies. You can use red chilies if you have. Some cauliflower and brinjals. For frying, we have onion, garlic, tomato, which we need to slice. For spices, two tablespoons of red chili powder, half teaspoon of turmeric powder, one tablespoon of coriander powder, one tablespoon of curry powder, three tablespoon of oil for frying, salt as to taste, bread of course, our pao, buttercup. Okay, I've already cut the cauliflower into big pieces, the brinjals, the potatoes, chilies, and the carrots into big pieces. It's okay because we are going to mash it after steaming it. We have to steam it first. This. I'm using a pressure cooker to steam this. Okay, about two whistle. Okay, our vegetables are steamed. Now we are going to mash it. Make sure you steam it until it softens really well. If you don't have a pressure cooker, you can even use uh, some other things that you have in the house to steam. Steam also is Okay. okay, all our vegetables are mashed, now we mix them together and mix it well before we start with the frying process. While waiting for our vegetables to be steamed, we slice the garlic, onion and tomatoes into small pieces. Time to fry, heat up the wok and I'm using a non-stick fork. Put it in the oil, wait for it to heat up. This is optional, if you have it, you can use it. If you don't have it, it's okay. Our oil has heated up. Put a little bit. This is to avoid stomach ache. Okay. Next, we put in the garlic and the onion fry medium flame okay, we fry the onions for about uh, one and a half to two minutes and then we put in the tomatoes fry in this Straight away, I will put in chili powder. Fry it. Turmeric powder. Curry powder. Coriander powder. And stir for about a minute. Till the spices are nicely cooked, leave it for 30 seconds. Put in the vegetables. Huh? 
even stir evenly. the color coming up and now we add salt to taste add fine salt okay, this recipe is very suitable for those kids who don't like to eat vegetables just mix like this spice it up and they will love it okay now we are done Take it out in a bowl. Okay, we heat up the plate first on low fire. And then here I prepared the plate, applied some butter. Okay, do not press it. Let it be fluffy. Just to make it make its surface a bit crispy. Okay, once you see the bread has turned to golden brown, the surface, that means it's done. Take it out. Continue. Okay, this is how you serve the pao bhaji in the end. Look at the cross section of our pao. It's very nice, very beautiful. Our bhaji. And to go along with it, we have some chopped onions, tomatoes, and fresh chilies from my own garden. Try with the bhaji. Hmm. Then I will add some onions together with it while it's still in my mouth. And tomatoes. That's the best taste. Another way of eating pao bhaji, you can do it just like burger, apply it on the pao. Uh, if you like a little bit extra, because I like extra, it's tastier. Some onions on top of it. <coughs> Chili, I will just bite straight. We'll lap it. Just like a burger. Mm. I prefer the first way. Now I'll go with chili. Mm -hmm. Take another bite. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And turn on the post notification button. Till we meet again. Bye.